Hi, I'm Celeste, and welcome to Find Your Purple. Well, it's week two, maybe three, into my reading of the Bible for the second time. I started again in Genesis. This time I'm reading it in chronological order, which had Genesis and then Job and then Exodus and Leviticus. Uh, I've just started Leviticus, and I guess when I got through the end of Exodus and into Leviticus, and you're reading about building of the tabernacle and how many cubits wide and tall and deep the table will be or the tabernacle will be or the screen should be, what material, what colors, what stone should be used on the breastplate. Um, at first you're thinking, why am I reading this? I mean, what am I getting out of this? But then I guess when I step back, I can take from it that God is very detailed. He did not just say, go build me a tabernacle. He told him exactly how he wanted it built. He didn't say go sacrifice. He told him exactly what the sacrifices were, what animals to be used, what parts of the body to be used, what would make up a sin sacrifice or a gratitude sacrifice or all the different types. And he also gave people certain talents and gifts to make sure that things could get done. And I think that's one thing I found through all the readings, Old Testament, New Testament, and life today, is when someone's giving a calling, whether it's Moses or Joseph or David or Saul or building of the tabernacle, I mean, he, said, he told Moses that he selected one of the men in the group that he would be a craftsman. So he gave that guy all the abilities, the talents, the gifts, the knowledge, and then they got the materials to make sure the job God wanted done was done and the person had the abilities. He picked Moses as a shepherd and gave him the talents and the gifts and his brother Aaron had to help because Moses was a bad speaker. But he made sure that the person he selected could do the job and had all of the tools. Now, I don't know my gifts yet. Um, that's something I am praying for, is to know what is the calling. One of my sisters was a missionary in Africa for many years. And I remember when she had come home back when she was 19 or something and said she had a calling to go to Africa, she and her husband. And I didn't really listen to her at the time because I kind of thought it was crazy. Um, and I don't know, you know, I was kind of what what do you mean God called you? What do you mean he put it on your heart? Uh, and I guess I didn't listen a lot because I didn't want to be called. I didn't want to be asked to go to Africa. Uh, now, all these years later, I mean 40 years later, I'm fascinated on how did you know you were called? What, did, what is a calling like? Did you hear words? Did, when you say you felt it, what does that mean? You felt it on your heart or you felt an urging. I hear these terms even in listening to sermons or going to YouTube and listening to some people. And I can't connect with what that means. So it's interesting now that I have such an interest in something that all those years ago, I was sitting next to a person who actually had a calling and I never asked her those questions. So anyway, I guess I'd like to make sure that people know if you're new to the Bible like me, then and know that when you're reading through it, some days you're going to close the book and think, I'm not sure what I got out of it. I make a journal. It had been recommended by someone I had listened to that I log what, what verses I'm reading every day. I log what the key verses were, if there were anything that stood out to me. And then I log what the message was. I have to admit, in much of Genesis and Exodus and into Leviticus, I'm not sure what the message was, and I write down, I'm not sure what I got out of this today. It's honest. Um, it's something that I'm hoping years from now I can go back and look, or my daughters can go back and look. And they won't be beat themselves up when they know that they're not always getting something out of the Bible. Maybe it's my mindset that day. Maybe it's what I read. I pray before I go into the Bible that I will get something out of it or that I'll get if there is something in there that I'm supposed to get that I get it but I'm not walking away with something every day uh, so 
I just don't want people to get discouraged. Uh, some days my reading is much more interesting than others, and I will admit the New Testament is much more interesting to me than the Old Testament. But I'll see as I get into the Old Testament this round what my thoughts are of it. Uh, again, a lot of the Old Testament's where the stories are, and I am finding, at least in the first pass, that the stories weren't exactly what I thought they would be based on what I remembered being taught. So that, that was an eye-opening experience, if nothing else. So I'm curious to see what I get this time. So that was it for today, just uh, telling people that are reading the Bible. If you're not getting something out of it some days, don't be hard on yourself. Just keep reading. There's a lot of information in there. People that have been reading it for years say they can still read something and get something totally different out of it than they did the last 30 times they read it. But for now, I'm getting out of it what I need to get out of it. That's it for today. So as always, grab your cup of tea, sit back, and let's start sharing. And I'm not talking about sharing with me, even though I would love you to, put in comments below, but it's about sharing the word. It's about sharing your experiences of life, especially those of us that are getting later in our years. We've all learned lessons. All of us have made mistakes. All of us would, might, well, most of us might have a few redos given the chance, but we are the people that have some experience and I think it's important that we share those experiences with people, just talking, or even to your peers. I'm finding it's interesting to talk to people my own age and see how we're experiencing the aging process. Talk to new believers. How are they experiencing the journey? So just share your life with others, those you know and those you don't know. You're here in this worldly experience for a reason. You're the only you that exists in this universe. You're here with a gift, whatever that is. So please get out there and share it. Until next time, bye-bye.